Leo, Leo, happy birthday to you. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you now? Help, help, help. Turn off the Wi-Fi. How old are you now? Turn off the Wi-Fi, babe. He's four years old today. He's just having fun, crazy on his birthday. We have some guests over now, and I just uh, cooked a bunch of hot dogs, or not hot dogs, but hamburgers. Here's one of the hamburgers right here. Some mustard and ketchup on it. I just fried them, and I get it from my deli, the meat. It's an Angus beef. Here's a couple more of the hamburgers that I made right in here. Very delicious flavor, but the... The Filipinos don't seem to have a, a taste for the Angus beef. I don't know. I don't know why, but they they tried them and they don't like them. Is only thing I put on them when I cooked them is salt and pepper. And here's how they come at my deli Angus beef uh, in a vacuum pack like this. And there's individual paper on uh, each side of the hamburger. And I ate one already, and it's just very 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 delicious. So, who knows, but we're roasting a bunch of uh, rotisserie roasting, like a lechon chicken in the back. I'm going to show you guys right now. Uh, hopefully, they're, not, they're real close to being done. We'll see right now if they're ready to go. And the kids have been swimming. There's two of the kids there now, swimming still. And uh, I got the, the pool's really looking good. I put some extra attention on it here the last couple of days. And the weather's beautiful again. So let's see and what how the chickens are doing back here. Oh, the guys are hanging out having a couple beers. Hey cousins. Oh, they're almost done now. You just let them cool down. Okay, here's all the chickens, guys. The guy's been ro rotisserying them like a leech on chicken. Very delicious looking, my gosh. Very nice. Yeah, eight big juicy chickens. I got those. That's called the Big Bird. It's the Magnolia chicken. Uh, I got that at uh, Lee Plaza Grocery Store where they got the Big Bird. It's the biggest size chickens that you can get that I've ever found, at least in any of the grocery stores. Uh, our chicken stocks of our live chickens aren't big enough to start butchering those yet, but... So I have to still buy some chickens once in a while, but uh, Looks like about half a case of beer gone there right now. Ruel is very smiling, so <laughs> Good work guys good work then uh, So we're just kind of birthday mode we've been singing some songs on karaoke and the kids been swimming and just uh Family and friends, and oh, 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 here's the queen. She wants something demanding. Oh, 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 here it comes. Here it comes. What I'm do you want, I'm gonna unplug the Wi Fi. What? I'm gonna unplug the Wi Fi for one to two hours. Why is that, hon? Need a break for the girls because they are in the home. Oh, okay. How to do that? Oh, uh, no, good luck. Good, good luck of that because I don't want you to unplug it. So. That's what teenagers, they're, there's three teenage girls here and that's all they want to do is be on the phones, phones, phones all the time. But uh, I told them, uh, yeah, that's parenting, you got to parent them up. Give them some restrictions. So here, here's our function hall. And uh, like she say, we've been, got the karaoke book out there. And my queen has been doing some songs and then... I introduced Leo to uh, some of the Disney movies on YouTube here the other day. A little short cartoons, right? When we were kids, the same, the old style uh, cartoons, Donald Duck. So now he really likes Donald Duck in this last month or two. And there's his two cakes. He's four years old. And uh, we got some soda out here and a bunch of other... Uh, every single occasion we have, Lilibeth makes all this pon or not poncet, but macaroni with cheese and uh, fruit and stuff in it. And there's poncet with all the fixings. And then spaghetti, of course, that's another uh, 
favorite for for when you're having an occasion. So we're gonna eat here maybe in an hour or so. And uh, basically it's just uh, hanging around, relaxing, just having family time together. Uh, I did a little bit of painting this morning and uh, didn't turn out too good. I put a non-water-based white paint over a water-based paint and it just uh, didn't mix too well. But there's the, the cross. I'm trying to put white paint on the cross and I need to do a water-based paint instead of that oil-based paint that I tried this morning and didn't work out too good. But that's what your cross should be, is it like a rugged, the rugged old cross, right? Because your cross represents all the hard times, terrible things you've, been, you've done your whole life, the wrong things, and you're like bearing your cross, right? That's what Jesus says, is to bear your cross and follow me, which means drag all your your sins and everything so they can be washed away by Jesus Christ, right? And But carry it on you as a weight. And it, as you become closer and closer to Jesus Christ, your cross becomes lighter and lighter and lighter. And soon the burden of your sins are gone because you've asked Christ to forgive you. And, and then it's just a matter of your walk with Christ. That Every single day there's you sin less and less and less. And, which what is sin not obeying his commandments so you're you're sinning less you're becoming more holy in your walk with Christ as you the more you uh, get into his word and study you know his ways and you're always reading the red letters in the Bible over and over and over so you can really get to know Jesus Christ the way he was as a human walking in a human body on this earth and just he says if you love me obey my commandments so that's the key right there guys loving god with all your heart soul and mind and then loving your neighbor and obeying his commandments and getting out of the system of the world which is satan completely separate yourself every single time that you separate another uh, tentacle from the from the world system that's in, engulfed you or has a hold of you every time you can sever one of those away your burden becomes lighter and you become more free in christ jesus so that's the key guys that's your absolute key to life on this earth because then you become you become into the kingdom of god and in the kingdom of heaven the more you do that so i made this penetration morning and uh, the glass company is going to come out and it's it's not perfect dimensions it's a it's a little off as far as squareness but that don't matter we'll just caulk anything that's not square put sealant caulk around it around the frame of it so it'll be a aluminum frame and a in a like a 5 8 or no it'll be probably a half inch glass yeah, right about half inch or three eighths, whatever the thickest glass they have there, it'll be tinted. And this is where the the Wi-Fi is going to sit here in front of this glass, so it can get a signal from my other Wi-Fi's from Starlink, and then so I'll have full full Starlink uh, Wi-Fi in here. And I just had to do this because I would couldn't get a real good signal through this concrete wall so I had to put a little window in there and then I'm just waiting for the the vents to get here and then we're gonna pen do a penetration here three foot long by one foot wide uh, one foot tall I mean so three foot long by one foot tall and then that'll be uh, covered by vents and that'll be your fresh air intake to the generator part of the the room here and then I'm going to be pulling out this cheap exhaust fan and putting a blower fan there. A 750 watt blower that will suck this room. It'll change it, the air out in it like once every 15 seconds. 
a complete volume of the room, maybe even once every 10 seconds, because it, uh, it really is a massive blower. So I'm really gonna be curious to how well that works. It should work real good. Compared to this thing, is junk. So as hot as this room gets, I have to make sure this room stays below 120 degrees. If I should ever have to run the generator longer than uh, one and a half to two hours and sometimes up to eight or ten hours depending on you know what's going on with the power grid you know if, what or what ha what's happening so I try to run it the least amount as I can that's that's my key thought because it's expensive to run that diesel anyways right uh, like four gallons of diesel fuel is about twenty dollars so you know and I can go through that in one eight hour run of that generator so twenty dollars for one day and that's poof gone just in diesel fuel right so anyways it's a beautiful day here for solar too you know I'm making real good around ten should be about ten thousand so that's like 37 and 3 is 67 so that's at 87 so it's about 9,000 is what I'm doing right now. So because it's a little bit late in the afternoon. Oh, it's partial, partial clouds. That's why. Usually I'm doing 10 between 10 and 11, and right now I'm doing about nine because it's a, a cloud haze. But it's not bad. And I got the pool pumps running and the air conditioning running. So still, um, that's banking three kil three to five kilowatt hours. Well, um, more like five or six kilowatt hours per per hour, as long as the sun stays going. And usually, right from between 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. is when I'm making the best power. So it looks like Leo's in the pool now too. Hey, buddy, birthday boy, Happy birthday, birthday boy. To Come you. on, you, you try Happy to jump in there. Birthday to you. Oh, the Happy queen jumped in and started. Birthday. Hey. Happy birthday! He don't seem to, to care. You. I know. <laughs> Hello. So the kids are having fun, and that's Laura over there. She she's a half Filipino girl too. Just she like, is. Look just at like her. Leo's half. Look Filipino. at how tall she is. She, yeah, she very is tall. six years old. Oh, she's six years yes. old. Yes, oh, Leonardo's God. four. So how? Oh, Oh my God, in two years, is Leonardo going to be yeah. that taller? Also? Oh, never know. You know, I'm 6'3", and you're actually a tall Filipino, so... <laughs> and your dad's close to six foot, isn't he? 5'11". 5'11", yeah. So, so I married into a tall Filipino family as it is, and you get mostly, or a lot more taller Filipinos in Mindanao. I, I, uh, what I've noticed, anyways. So, we'll see. I mean, you know the way kids are. They grow, they'll grow in spurts, you know, and then they'll slow down and then grow fast again. So, anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. It's birthday day here for us today. And uh, we're just going to have birthday celebration the rest of the day. So, you guys take care and God bless you all as always. And I love you so much. Bye-bye.